Hello from Western New York. It's a nice day so far. It's a morning. And uh, it's a nice day. That's far. See, there's a nice little bumblebee down there looking at all the lovely flowers. Don't think that one was completely ripe. <laughs> Raspberries are doing real good. Plenty of them are ripe, and well, a few of them are overripe, actually. Gotta plant those two trees. <laughs> Probably do that later today. I got an extra pair of hands. Hmm. Don't know if a third rose is gonna bloom here. These did good. <laughs> Gonna end up mowing them down soon, I think. These roses are doing good. Uh, this one's blooming, and well, looks like the rest of these are done with their blooms. Blueberries are ripening. Picked a few yesterday. <laughs> Shared them with my neighbor. And with their granddaughter. <laughs> and and also with their and, and also with my neighbor's daughter. Who's a well, a little bit of a nick here, but should be alright. In fact, not the blueberries kind of came off of this thing. <laughs> A little seedy, but very delicious. <laughs> Grandkid wanted more. And I don't mind if she came over and picked any of the berries. Right, and of course she asked for permission, you know. <laughs> That's important, you know. Just because your neighbor's got a mess of berries does not mean... You can just pick them. After a whole, you got to make sure they're ripe. And of course you want to ask permission. Gooseberries are a little tart, but still good. <laughs> this is a black currant. Now, technically, it's a clove currant, given that the variety is a cardal. There's a, a bit, there's a, <clears throat> there's a little bit of a spice to it. Didn't really get any good, uh, red, red currants on here. Next year? No? Who knows? Don't see any grapes growing yet. This might not be the year for them. But the winter being as crazy as it was.
Well, these roses are doing real good. <laughs> My brother will be happy to know about that. I just wish the miniature rose that I transplanted over here is doing better. The Shasta daisies are doing really good. I mean, I planted these last year, and they're like, and it was a small, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, it was a five-inch pot, you know, this way, this way, this way, this way, you, you know, and about that deep. And look, it's it's gorgeous. Oh, there's that rose. Brown Eyed Susan's doing pretty good too. And, uh, well, better be careful because I see a little uh, wasp, but the Brown Eyed Susan is opening. I also got this Persian cornflower over here. It's doing pretty good. Same a situation as that one, but not as big. Although, I wouldn't be too surprised. I wonder what this rose is going to do next year. I, mean, I got a lot of perennials in this. Of course, my mom wants to expand it a little bit, not that I blame her. You know, nice squared off, you know. Just wish my grapes were doing better. Still can't complain too much. I wish this rhubarb was doing better, but then again, rhubarb is more of a spring thing, so I'm not going to complain too much. You've already seen my red raspberries and a few of my yellows. Let's take a look at the black raspberries. And they are doing pretty good, too. Excuse me. A little bit seedier, but still good. Strawberries are doing pretty good, you know, with the growing. Got some flowers over here. Gonna need to do a bit of weeding to remove some of these wild raspberries. But they're doing pretty good, though. Probably ought to thin out a few of them, actually. <laughs> kind of smaller than their uh, domestic counterparts. But, nevertheless, just as tasty. You know? You know, you get, it, you get enough of them, you throw them in a pie. I saw a nice bird down here the other day. Um, oh, that broke off. Look half dead anyways. So, I saw, I think, a cedar waxwing. Got a yellow on the bottom, brown on the top. So I'm just guessing at that. Not quite right. Still, though. Hmm. I got two varieties in here, Jewel and Bristol, and I know that, and I think the Jewel is two weeks behind the Bristol when it comes to picking. But as you can see, a good mess of black caps.
But if you if you love berries, this is the sort of thing you want. Of course, you don't have any of the berries on the choke cherry. Of course, if you don't like the tartness of a red raspberry, go with a yellow one, like um, these fall golds. Less tart. Isn't it? Actually, there isn't any tartness in them at all. Blackberries are doing growing pretty good. Just hope they make it through the winter. Now, anyways, I was out here trying to mow this because it's been a few weeks since I mowed it. It's getting a little high. Anyways, I was over here, and I noticed these. And, well, I didn't feel like mowing them down. Well, most of them. Probably going to just still mow down most of them, but, you know, they were beautiful enough that I decided to pick a few. And when I picked a few of those, well, I started poke, picking a few more. Picked some of those. Well, there's some better specimens up there. Um, let's see here, what else did I pick? I picked, well, I picked one buttercup, right here, I only had the one, even located one of these, it had a nice little purple flower, picked one of them, and only one, because that thing's got, is covered in thorns, <laughs> But that's it. I picked a few of these. I think these are a wild mustard. I even, I even picked a couple of these. I think this is either Chevelle or Queen Anne's Lace. Still nice. I even picked a couple of regular grasses. They had seed heads on them. What else did I pick? Um. Over in here. Take a couple of these. Yeah. I picked a few of these. Uh, they do extrude a, a, a bit of a white, uh, a white uh, sap, and I don't know if it's toxic or what. So, you know, make sure you wash your hands off, off after you you pick them. Well, after you pick any amount of wildflowers that may or may not be toxic. You know, especially before you eat. 
and uh, you know, basically, oh, morning glories. <laughs> Picked one of these, just one of the flowers, you know, nice long stem. Just one flower, you know, not a whole lot. Kind of nice, ain't they? Kind of wish they were the ones that I got seeds for, but, you know, you get the what? If you don't have the domestic one, sometimes a nice, beautiful wild one will make you think twice about cutting it down. Yeah. Basically, a nice little assortment. Well, I better. Well, this is Western New York. Please subscribe if you like this. Click having post comments. Click the like button. Share this with your friends and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Goodbye. See you around.